Good day everyone. Welcome to another Ask Reddit video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Disclaimer. This video may contain sexual or inappropriate content that you may find disturbing or uncomfortable to hear. Viewer discretion is advised. And remember stay safe on your nights out. R slash Ask Reddit. Bastard of Reddit, have you ever had a man use the safe word drink escape, and how often does it happen? Here one from Eindhoven, Netherlands. I was working for a smaller bar with a mixed crowd. For both men and women we had Safa drinks, women, virgin tequila, men, virgin vodka. In total I saw these ordered two times. The one that sticks with me the most was for Christmas Eve. This night we had mostly gay guys hanging around in the bar and some students. After a while of the students, S, got a lot of attention of one of the gay guys, GG, hand on leg, a lot of two personal questions, touching, and told he was straight and not interested. This got the bartender, that overheard this on alert and he put a napkin on the bar near where he was sitting with a red exclamation mark, so all staff knew something was up. S goes to toilet and GG orders a round of vodka shots, bartender didn't see S so poured the order, and placed it on the bar. S comes back, and GG tells him to help him empty the glasses S starts drinking, and suddenly looks very pally and sweaty, as soon as the vodka is done GG smiles and walks to toilet. S looks worse by the second, and asks for virgin vodka, at this moment two of the bartenders get him to one of the other bars owned by my boss, and call an ambulance. The rest of the crew created a diversion for GG, as soon as he came from the toilet, telling him S left for a phone call. Ambulance noticed S seemed to be drugged, GG was drinking something else by then, watered down cocktails without him even noticing, and we alerted the police, who found 4 tubes of GHB on him. In the end GG was arrested, and S rushed to hospital. That's fucked. Ingesting GHB when you're wasted can kill you. Yeah. Not even wasted. My girl had her shit spiked about 2 years ago. She only had 2 drinks or so. It was scary how bad it got that night. I got roofied on my second drink of the night once, and ended up naked puking out the window of the wrong dorm room, when I came to at sunrise. I love drugs, and that was the most terrifying shit ever. Way worse than a bad acid trip. I work in small cocktail bars in Sydney, Australia. Prime date night joints. We have something called Ask for Angela, where the idea is you just ask the bar staff if Angela is working tonight and that'll be the hint to keep an eye on things or even call a cab. I've only had one customer, man or woman, ever use it, a nice younger guy on a date with an older gentleman. The issue was threefold. A venue at the time had quite a few backpackers on working holidays that were completely unaware of this protocol. We had a lovely Chinese girl who went by Angela working that night, and that the date was going poorly in such a fashion, that to the untrained eye, it looked like two work acquaintances having a drink. There was that little chemistry between them. Apparently the older gentleman followed the younger in the bathroom, and copped a feel, prompting the ask for Angela. It was a huge rune around to be honest. It took quite a while for a native English speaker to tune into the argument behind the bar where Angela was explaining that she had no idea who this guy was. So eventually he got some help. He ordered two cocktails at the bar, asked if Angela was working tonight, saying she made them the best. We ended up ordering a new before him while he feigned an emergency and brought their drinks out in time that the older bloke sort of felt obligated to stay and finish them just as his Uber arrived. Unfortunately a lot of bars have joined the Ask for Angela campaign, it's government sponsored, posted the signs in their ladies rooms, and called it a day. No staff training. This is because it puts you on a government list of safe bars, and, well, nobody can give up free publicity. Very disappointing. I also believe it needs to better extend to men on poor dates as well. I rarely see the posters in men's rooms, just unisex and ladies. 100% agree with the training issue. Was a Sydney bartender for 5 years seen this on several occasions. So many people coming for 6 months with a working visa. They can make a vodka lime soda, but they often don't get taught how to be a bartender. Find it to be a big issue in Australia. Hospitality and quality of service is generally pretty average. Worked in a pub in Ireland as a bouncer. Not a common thing here, to have a get me out to here shot. 
so no signs or that, but there was some Facebook post calling them angel shots that did its rounds. Girls would go to us and we'd know. No code words or shit. Anyway one night I'm doing my thing in this nice bar, and a guy approaches me in front of a group of friend being a bit boisterous from a fancy restaurant across the road and he says he needs an angel shot. So we let them in, but I hold him there questioning his ideas his friend make fun of me and him as I'm 22, this guy was maybe 35 ish and I was a kid telling a man no, so they hang about for him, so I can't ask him what's up, I tell him no he's had too much tonight, I hail a taxi down and he pretends to resist getting in, so I basically pick him up and carry him into the taxi. He throws me 50 euros into my jacket pocket discreetly, and the taxi goes off then. Nothing big. Two days later I'm working again same bunch of guys from the restaurant come over. The angel shot guy isn't there. Three days later angel shot guy comes, but very early, and explains it all to me. Turns out his friends were doing coke all professional people, and a girl was sexually assaulted in the bathroom. He said at first she wanted to have sex with one of them, but then two guys came in. Then she wanted out and couldn't. This guy tried to interject, but couldn't and then felt uncomfortable, and didn't want a part of this so wanted to leave, but was told, if he did they'd hurt him, and the reason they all returned two days later was his going away drinks, that he didn't attend. Obviously. The guys were then charged like a month later, can't find public info on it anymore. Only time I ever had to use the get me out to here shot. Edit. Used to us. Edit 2. Thanks for the silvers. Those guys are fucked up. Glad one of them isn't. I wonder what happened to the poor girl. I'm not sure. It kind of annoys me as it's not my place. The guy who left showed me the police report and that, but I didn't see anything besides what this guy told me, so I wasn't in the loop per se, so I never got details from it. I used to bartend and do front desk at a hotel. One of my regulars was in for the week, real nice guy, very friendly and happily married. We also had a cuckoo bird lady staying with us that week. She was decent looking, but deaf had crazy eyes. They were both at the bar and they were talking for a while. Him being a nice guy, he didn't want to outright blow her off I guess. He stops at the front desk to say what's up, and we talk for a bit, while the girl is just standing behind him. He shoots me a look, that says get me out of this situation as he starts walking towards the elevator. Once she gets in the elevator I called him back, to ask a question about Detroit, because I was going there next week. He got off the elevator, but so did she. Then I told the lady there was a problem with the card she had on file, there wasn't, and he slipped away. He called me thanking me a few minutes later. Def had the crazy eyes. Funny how unspecific that statement is, yet I know exactly what you are talking about. Not quite the same, but I worked in a coffee shop on a busy high street this year, and had a similar sort of thing happen. We noticed one customer had come in, ordered, and sat opposite the counter, which meant that he was staring at me and my other female colleagues for about 30 minutes straight. We wondered if he was high as he didn't seem aware of himself, but his gaze was following me as I walked up and down the counter, which was about 8 meters long. We then closed, and the customer sitting inside left, including a very nice, young couple who walked up the street away from the shop, as did the weird guy. About 10 minutes later, the couple came back to the door, which we had locked, and knocked, saying they'd left a phone behind. They came in, and told us, that the man had followed them for 10 minutes towards their home. So they came back to hide, grateful that you let them back in. This happened to us in a small coastal town after dinner one night. Someone fell, out of some bushes behind us, and started following us. We walked back into the restaurant that had just closed and told them what happened. They let us hang while they closed up and even gave us a glass of wine to split while we waited out the crazy. I got followed to my Airbnb when I was traveling alone in Berlin. I hopped in the pub next door and had a great night talking with a bartender through Google Translate lol. Yep, I work in a nightclub in a small town in England in Lincolnshire and I once had a guy who seemed to only recently turn 18 ask if Angela was working. I brought him into the glass washroom and turns out there were a bunch of lasses encouraging this one lass into seducing him, grinding up on him, trying to kiss him and groping him. This apparently continued even after the man had walked away into other parts of the nightclub, after showing and saying he wasn't interested. 
I had reported this to my supervisor, who was a little hesitant at first but eventually called the bouncers into the back room too. We explained the situation to them. Now these guys are basically 200 to 300 pound tanks so you would expect to joke about this and tell this guy to man up and enjoy it, but to my surprise, they took it seriously as well. They managed to track down this group, 5 women including the one who was doing the grinding, and they escorted all of them out of the building. Meanwhile, a taxi had already been prepared by my supervisor and the taxi firm was literally down the road, so it didn't take long for it to arrive, and I escorted the man through the back stairs that continues down to the stock cellar, but leads off to the side exit of the building near the bins where the taxi was waiting. It would be a rare occasion when someone uses our scandula where I work, let alone a man. So I'm really glad that all of the staff took it seriously and helped as much as they could. Edit. Wow. I didn't expect this to blow up. To those curious, it was in Lincoln. Brilliant town for a night out tbh. This sounds like something that happened in my town. If it's a nightclub I'm thinking of. BB if it means anything to you. I'm shocked there isn't any ask for Angela signs there. TBH. I'm quite shocked as to how many places still don't have ask for Angela signs. I work in a nightclub called Home. One of the biggest nightclubs in Lincoln and all the staff are made known about it too. <laughs> Only had one incident of man using ask for Angela. UK safe word scheme. Gaked on a bad date. His date had been extremely overbearing and even having to witness it from the bar was extremely uncomfortable. We smuggled him into the kitchen and out the side door while his date went to the bathroom and called him a taxi. Date came back from the bathroom, asked where the kid was, I just went don't know. Date started getting aggro with me, so supervisor ended up throwing this guy out by the collar. It honestly doesn't get used enough by either men or women, especially here in the UK. It absolutely sucks, especially when you as a bartender can't really legally do much, or you risk not only your job, but the bar's reputation. Edit. Just for clarification, the victim was 19. Legal age of drinking alcohol in UK is 18. So yes, he is still technically a kid. I haven't done it personally, but a friend had it happen to him who is a bartender. He was finishing up his shift, when a man walks up to him, asking for a Safiwood drink, I forget what he said it was called, might have been the Angela drink, and said he wanted it on the rocks. Friend just said yeah, sure, and helped him to the taxi. Just as the man got in the taxi, the woman he had been there with came running out towards the taxi and yelled profanities, calling the man she had been with fucking white trash and he'll never amount to anything, and some shit like that. Last I heard, she was banned from that bar, and several others, while the man who got help became a bit of a regular. Edit, this was around 4 to 5 years ago, so the details are a bit rusty. 